Welcome to the Grace Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. Crack, crack, crack. So what we're watching here on the screen, Jonas. Uh, right. Let me let me let me let me first say a date. The twentieth of December, twenty twenty three. Keep that in mind. Okay. What we're watching here on screen is uh something that happened in Bali or no in Belgrade uh just this year. In fact, this this happened this week. Okay. Is that this is large December twenty twenty three. It's only November now. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah, I'm aware. Okay. That large uh that large red square, that date has something to do with something we'll talk about in a minute here. That large red square was swing scene. There's uh this video is, is very adorable. There's a cute B- Belgradian kid that can't keep the F word out of his mouth, but you can just tell it doesn't mean the same thing there. Either way, David Gersh, a man we've talked about before. Oh, the alien guy. The whistleblower guy with high level of intelligence. He just did a, a podcast with Joe Rogan. Oh, did he? Yes. Also, just recently, this week again, um, I believe on the 11th, there was a an article published in Newsweek that went over uh, his congressional hearing, his uh, his recent string of interviews, and some of the things that have been disclosed. I watched the entire interview on the Joe Rogan experience, and I just like to go over some of the talking points and, and get some of your feedback. All Jones. right, I'm I. Uh, this is your bag, so I'm I'm uh, I'm I'm an objective. Uh, talker absolutely so now there's a lot to go over here so uh mr gersh he says that the number of crafts in the usa's possession is in the double digits he said he was unable to give you an exact number because lots of countries have them more than 10 less than 100 so in the world there's less than 100 but more than 10 he did not you can't say there's less than 100 there's probably double digits is less than 100 he says that that we possess oh oh, that america possess he says that the events have been documented and have been occurring since uh, the 1930s. Okay. <clears throat> he says that Italy and Germany, who were considered one of the first of modern day to find something, um, may have been uh, allies during World War II during the events surrounding an Italian UAP, UFO, unidentified flying object, um, retrieval. So there was a story about Mussolini actually they uh italy called and said is this one of your wonder waffles and they're like no this isn't one of ours but let's look at it together and apparently that led into a lot of what with the warring that was going on um former nevada senator harry reed was aware of the uap crash retrieval program so he spoke he spoke about a tr- crash retrieval program that was supposed to be going on from 2024 to 2030 and they say that they, in the past they have they kind of like dry run releasing bits of information to the public, but they weren't comfortable necessarily with like how the public perceived it. But they're trying to get this in order now to release this information. This is real shit. This shit is really going on, and it gets realer when I get to December twenty third, or yes, when I get to December twentieth, twenty twenty three. Just wait. Okay. All right. Um, foreign intelligence agencies have breached our UAP reverse reverse engineering programs. Seems pretty seems pretty standard. So obviously we have reverse engineering programs as well as other countries. But right, we're trying to uh, get the tech. When he when Joe Rogan asked him what countries had uh, access to this technology, he says, "I think you can figure out which ones." China, China, America. Who else? Germany, who else? The, Ger- U- the think- UK, like yeah, the big Russia, play. yeah, the S tier countries, the S tier countries, England, S tier country, Canada, yeah, I mean, Russia, is Canada, on- probably not. <laughs> Maybe they got like one or two. You know, Mexico, they might have like a wing. A wing. <laughs> wow. But it just comes into it comes into play when you think of like precision German engineering. It's like maybe they had a little boost. Um, let's see. Biden is aware of them, of course. Gersh says that they're. Uh, other countries are aware of the pos- are are in possession of multiple crafts. Um, I talked about the six year plan, six year plan for uh, releasing it to the public. So wait, yeah, that's why I'm confused. Yeah, keep going. You're kind of you're kind of going quickly through all of this. I am trying to go quickly. So, There's a lot of information. I mean, we can make a part two if we have to. All right. Fair uh, so they're going to start releasing the stuff. 2024 to 2030 that's so, that's the 2024 to 2030 so this the six year disclosure plan is called the Sh- is in the schumer amendment and it's only being considered right now where they're they, just gonna start dumping stuff on the public 
slowly. It's, it's like I said, it's a six year plan, but it's within our lifetime. So there's a chance we might see it. It actually turns out that there's two senators, um, Mike Rogers and Mike Turner. Mike Rogers is actually out of Ohio. And they're actually two of the uh, senators that are preventing this measure from going through. It also turns out scared. No, it also turns out that in their back pocket, their lobbyists, Lockheed, Boeing, other big companies that have an interest in Aeroflight or security. Yeah, that's where they get their info from. Exactly. So that's part of the reason why. I wonder if the Wright brothers found one. That's how they did the first craft. It might be. Uh, so Gersh says that he is 100% certain that we are not alone in the universe. He, he disclaimed it by saying, I'm intelligence, and as an intelligence guy, I'm never supposed to say 100% for anything. But he says, in this case, I am 100% sure oh, that wow. we are not alone. He says that we do not use the term uh, extraterrestrial because that in litigation that can be used against you. So they use non-human intelligence very specifically when they speak about these entities. Non-human intelligence? Yep. Okay. Uh, Gersh says that the leading government and military officials refer to the beings as extraterrestrials. Uh, people in the government try to destroy his image. Um, the entity destroy one of Gersh's colleagues' careers. This is all kind of just like stuff that he went through. Uh, he got, he, man, my man was receiving like threats of violence over this. He says that the government is currently treating the secrecy on the level of like nuclear secrets. So there's a possibility that there may be some sort of nuclear particles that are actually on these devices. And, and maybe that's why they're being so guarded. But, uh, also, I mean, and also I could see the sensitivity of it being yeah. as sensitive as a nuclear thing. If it's yeah. not related to nuclear, like they're like, we need to keep this as, as, secret as we would keep something nuclear secret yeah, so yeah. i mean i get it they don't want people i mean people are crazy people freak out over like j-lo's boyfriend exactly so what the hell are they gonna do when they so with this being said jonas um like i came to the consensus i was like okay so look i understand you're a whistleblower but he's he's clearly american this is clearly america that he's trying to uh that he's trying to get some of this stuff uh released released on and I understand that. But this is a worldwide issue. Even when this stuff happens in America, if we say is that these things exist, the rest of the world realizes this. So it's a worldwide issue. Proof that it's a worldwide issue, Jonas. Remember that date I told you? Yes. Yoshi, Yoshihiro Asakawaka. I'm sorry, I pronounced wow, that wrong. I have a feeling Asakawa, that is not the right Asakawa, way. He is a member of the Japanese Restoration House of Representatives. Okay. So this is Japanese House of Representatives. Says the UAP problem has suddenly escalated today. This was two days ago that he said this. And the national policy briefing session will be head, held on December 20th. Okay. To discuss the policies from here on out in dealing with UAPs. Okay. December 20th, okay. Japan is holding a congressional hearing or, you know, the uh, similar to what a yeah, congressional yeah, the equivalent to discuss this. Okay. I don't really know how much more proof we need at this point. Because Japan wants to talk about it? It's not about Japan wanting to talk about it. It's about these high-level officials with no reason to lie about this information are talking about it. In high-level rooms, in rooms where we would never be allowed, the president is aware. It's everything that we already knew, and it's being said is that, yes, it's true. This is real. Okay. It's not fake. All right. <laughs> what do you what yeah. do you have you no sense of Jonas I watched a video of it was a video I was looking for very similar to the one that's on the screen now where I saw an orb floating for 12 minutes I was looking for it prior to this video I was unable to find it and even in the interview he says is that some of the entities that they've recovered because they've recovered pilots of these of these vehicles okay. at least he, he claims that that the uh some of the intelligence have and he says is that we're not even sure that all of them are organic or living he's like sometimes we even kind of feel that they might be drones for like surveillance 
But that makes what sense. Are, what are your intentions for surveilling us? Is it because they want to know how dangerous we is? That's one, yeah, and that was a good point. That's a very good point. Because because what? Because they want to come and take us over. <laughs> is that what you think? I don't know. So he went through a couple things on the show. He was like, okay. so it's like. He said, I live in Colorado, and I know there's a family of mountain lions that stay in the area. But he's like, when I go out walking through the woods or I go out jogging, I'm not thinking about that mountain lion. And that mountain lion isn't necessarily thinking about me. He's like, perhaps this is the same relationship that we have with these entities. It's like, we don't really care about each other. But if I see the mountain lion, then I'm like, I'm going to keep an eye on this thing to make sure it doesn't do anything. Yeah. But... It, it's 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 very hard to tell what the intention is when we have so little information as being released to us. Yeah, I feel like the the one hundred percent truth about the matter is Jonas is that nothing that we see on television, whether it be the Joe Rogan experience or anything else, is delivered to our eyes unintentionally. Everything I, has to pass through filters. I agree. I Everything. Agree. I agree. If it's not the FCC, it's something else. Okay. I agree so, on that. So, so if we are now being spoon-fed drops of this information, the shit made Newsweek, one of the biggest, most legitimate publications out there. If we are being drip-fed now, I believe that the disclosure is already beginning. Okay. All right. All right. Well, let's uh, let's continue this tomorrow. I think I, I think I want to. I think I want to bleed it over. We got enough. I can. I can always yeah, yeah, make all more. Right, all right. Tune in tomorrow. We're going to part two of this, B. That was the information episode. Yeah, and tomorrow will be the dis discussion. So that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, go to crazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.